five. Four, Do two, it! Three. Cross him! Do it! Hey, what's up guys? It's Arlie and I'm here with another video and today I want to talk about Jedi Fallen Order, um, another EA title which owns the rights to make Star Wars games right now and unfortunately I'm not happy about these, this news because it's from EA and they're going to do anything possible to ruin the game by adding microtransactions. Now I heard there's a story driven game and yes I kind of saw the trailer and I'm like that won't stop EA from doing what they want to do you know like they might try to uh, make you pay for in-game skins and shit like that or make you pay for additional DC because you know it's EA now I don't really have a problem with that the thing is that like what kind of creative direction are they going to take Star Wars because they have a very bad try record just look what happened with the mess that was Anthem it was a horrible game um, came out the gate ruining PS4 consoles just technical bugs everywhere Anthem was just a mess and yeah everyone's like well they made a comeback with Apex Legends which not trying to brag not trying to be mean but it's a battle royale come on that says like sinister you can get for a game company possible don't get me wrong good game but still um bad business practices but what's interesting is that yes this is a um, story driven game and they have one of the studios respawn entertainment the uh creators of battlefall which had a really good uh single player experience for titanfall 2 the developers of titanfall 1 and 2 and now apex legends is helming this project and that's the only thing that's saving it right now like I want to give Respawn a chance because they seem like they're at least consumer oriented like they rather please the consumer than to please um, corporate interests so yes even though they are owned by EA I have hope because of how they designed Apex Legends and how um, easy it is to play that at the same time without having to put some money into it uh, I will say that I will give Jedi Fallen Order a chance due to the fact that Respawn Entertainment has a good track record and come on Titanfall 2 had one of the best story modes of, of this generation of this console generation in my opinion even though it didn't sell um, as well as like a triple A Call of Duty title it still did good in terms of that story and the multiplayer was decent it just wasn't enough to capture people and make people want to play it Apex Legends now that got people on the multiplayer board hopefully Jedi Fallen Order is just as popular um, as Titanfall 2's uh, story mode was and hopefully it reaches mainstream height like I'm talking Naughty Dog status hopefully this studio does not have to fall like all the other ones that came before it I mean Bioware come on like it's crazy because once Bioware came out with Mass Effect Andromeda it just fell uh, from there it was just a it was just a disaster and that's what happened with uh, Anthem and the problem is that I heard that actually Anthem Anthem's engine is actually going to be used for the new Dragon Age title they have coming soon which if that's true wow it's gonna be a disaster no one wants to play Dragon Age with jetpacks okay I'm sorry <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe my opinion on this is invalid maybe it's not that uh, important you can challenge me in the comment section if you wish tell me your opinion do you think that this can be a good Star Wars game do you think this will be that Star Wars game we never got, like Star Wars 1313? Let me know down below. I'm excited. I always wanted a good single player Star Wars game. Anyways, thank you for the support, Arlenators, and uh, yeah. See you soon, gamer faggots. Gamer news.